Hey there everyone, and greetings. This is another video diary entry for my motorcycle trip to Sturgis. And I'm currently at a place I've been wanting to visit for a long time. Actually, right now I'm currently at two places I've wanted to visit for a long time. One I've wanted to visit a lot longer. So, I will do a little camera shift, and then you'll be able to see the first one, the one I've wanted to visit for a very, very, very long time. There it is, Devil's Tower. Devil's Tower National Monument. Ever since, of course, seeing Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So cool. The other thing that, I'm, that, that I was excited to find out was here, prairie dog field. Yes, there's a large prairie dog field right here. See some of their prairie dog homes right here. But I am sad while I started talking some loud motorcycles uh, drove by and there was a prairie dog like really close by. There, he's like kind of out there but with this my camera phone probably can't see him too well. But he was, he was quite close by. And then, uh, yeah, the motorcycles kind of scared him off. So, I got here to the KOA campgrounds at uh, just outside the, the park for Devil's Tower last night, a uh, little bit before 9. And what was really cool is when I checked in, well, first, what wasn't so cool, and I knew they were a little more expensive, but EGADS, KOA campground, $34 for a piece of dirt <laughs> to lay my head. Uh, but so be it. It's it, the campground is right here at the base. Well, I'm not in the campground anymore. I'm actually in the park. But the campground is at the base of Devil's Tower. So it was really cool rolling in, being really close to it, seeing it, setting up my tent. You know, by the time I set up my tent, it was dark outside. It was night, but you could still. I mean, there's so many stars out, and then the moon was coming up, and you could still see it, and it was right there. It was awesome. But it was what is really cool is every night in the restaurant, um, they have a gift shop slash restaurant for the KOA campground. And every evening at seven o'clock, they have a showing of Close Encounters of the Third Kind on a large TV. And so that was, when I got there, they were just starting the final scene of the movie. You know, the big mothership comes down and does its whole thing. So. And what is really cool about that and seeing that scene and showing up at that time was recently I was in Washington, D.C. and I went to the, uh, what are they called, the Companion Building for the Air and Space Museum. There's two. There's one right in D.C. along the National Mall, but there's another one that is right next to Dulles Airport. And that is where the Space Shuttle Challenger is on display. Another thing that I found there, actually my friend Gilby found that, uh, noticed it is the model that they used for the final scene of the mother the, uh, model of the mothership that was used in the final scene of Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And there's all these little kind of Easter eggs hidden on it. There is uh, you can find R2D2, you can find a post box, you can find a bunch of airplanes, a submarine, a cemetery plot, just all this cool stuff. I found uh, Darth Vader's Tie Fighter on there. It was. Um, it was really amazing to see, and so after seeing that just a couple weeks ago, and then seeing it in the film right here at the base of Devil's Tower, it's pretty awesome, very awesome. So yeah, far beyond just pretty awesome. It was extraordinarily awesome. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I did I did um, the uh, piece of dirt that my thirty-four dollars uh, got me for an evening it was rather hard packed and rather uncomfortable. And before I left, uh, my daughter was was telling me. Dad, that's that's the small tent. I mean, the really small tent. I don't think you want to take that tent. You want a different tent because that's really small. But the other, only other tent I had was this big, like two, it, you know, the kind of tent that ha is big enough to put a partition down the middle and make it into two rooms. It's like a eight-man tent or something. And I didn't need to take anything that huge. But yeah, the tent, extraordinarily small. Uh, I barely fit in it. Well. Laying diagonally across it, excuse me, my head was touching one corner and my feet were touching the other corner. And the ground was super hard 
So I didn't sleep all that well last night, but it doesn't matter because when I woke up and I unzipped the tent flap, oh, there was Devil's Tower right there in front of me. It was amazing. So anyway, uh, there are two, let's see, I don't know if you can see them out there, but right out there, there are two prairie dogs just chilling, hanging out. Hey, prairie dogs! Like, yeah, whatever. Signs, don't feed the prairie dogs. Not that I have any food on me with which to feed them. And I wouldn't do that because it's not good to feed wildlife. They need to just do their own thing. They got their own way of foraging and all that. We don't need them all running up here trying to get food off of cars that are passing by. Ooh, this guy just came out of his hole. As you can see him running over there. Anyway, oh, they're so cute. And right there, prairie dog. Do a prairie dog dance. What's up? How you doing? Oh my gosh, he is. <laughs> They're talking. I hope that got caught. He like sat up and barked, and then the ones over there followed suit, answered him. Look at how cute he is. Is he showing up back there? There he is, look at that. He's so cute. Okay. Cute overload. Well, this is getting lengthy and I have things to do and I have to push on to Sturgis. So, this is Fish on a Bike. Have a good. I said bye.